earlier, and I explained to Ben at that point that there's no surprises today. We're not going to, you know, jump up and parade out your wife and five kids or uh, anything of the sort, because I don't think that would be a right thing to do with you um, at all. What we want to do is learn as much about you as we can, tell people as much about you. The closing crew is there anywhere from 11.30 to 1 o'clock in the morning. If his body had been out there unconscious, the closing crew would have seen him. They definitely would have seen him. Our office is open 24 hours a day to try to help this guy. We're, we're very appreciative of what Dr. Phil and your show is doing because I think this could be what he needs, what he's been looking for. I contacted a crime reporter with the Savannah newspaper. As a result, uh, it got picked up, I believe, by the AP, and I began to receive telephone calls from various newspapers uh, and news stations particularly in some of the cities that Benjamin had some recollection of being associated with. But to date, we've not, simply just not been able to identify him. We're talking with a man who has lost his past. Now, he believes that he suffers from amnesia and quite naturally is searching for answers. Now, look behind me. This is an age regress photo of Benjamin as he might have looked at various ages. Now, this is him today, how he might have looked in his 40s and 30s. Now, not only did we put these photos on various missing... He was found beaten, naked, and unconscious behind a Burger King in Richmond Hill, Georgia, four years ago with no form of identification, no driver's license, no social security card, no birth certificate. Effectively, he did not exist on paper. Let's take a look. A cleaning woman at the Burger King found me just before they opened, so it was about 6 a.m. in the morning. The day is pretty hazy to me. I don't remember too much about it. I was unconscious. I had uh, ant bites all over me, beaten. I have no idea how I got there. I don't, I don't remember anything about it. I had no memory of my name, uh, my parents, relatives. I don't even know where I work. We arrived on the scene, found a man laying down on the right side. He was totally naked. Uh, he was unresponsive. Uh, when I looked at him, uh, he had a lot of sores on him. I remember being in the ambulance. Uh, I remember an EMT uh, pinching me. People were asking me questions uh, or practically yelling at me. I think they were trying to get a response. Well, when he was first found, he appeared homeless and was shuffled from hospitals to homeless shelters. He was startled when he first looked at himself in the mirror after getting cataract surgery. I didn't see a mirror until a week after the operation. Got up that morning and, and my vision had finally cleared up. I started to shave and I just couldn't believe how old I looked because I felt, I mean, I looked like an old man compared to how I felt. Jeez, the gray hair, bags under the eyes. I didn't feel that old. I, I didn't think I should be that old. Well, he feels, and I say feels because he doesn't know, but he feels 